do. Okay, so I'm gonna do another book review or reviews because I'm gonna just jam pack um, these ones into one because they all kind of relate to the same topic, Napoleon. Um, yeah, so I took a course that was on him. Um, so first book. Um, the French Revolution. So, I think this one, um, I think this wouldn't concern him. Yeah, it would. Because, like, this would, like, start him. Um, like, this kind of just gave, like, background. And so, it's the French Revolution. A very short introduction by William Doyle. Um, yeah, so I got this used. So, um, I can see underneath. Um, if you're in the States, it'll cost you about $12. I forget what I paid for it. Um, I forget if I did pay about 12 or about 6 I don't know. But yeah, um, as you can see through that, you can see it is a short book. Um, I, like, to make it easier on me, I just tap the chapters, so, um, with post-its, but, like, however you read and get organized with that, it's your choice. I don't know. Um, this next hunk, um, for, for pretty much all of these books I'm going to show, we ha had to read pretty, um, almost all of them, plus maybe, like, one or two articles, so a few hundred pages at a time. Like, this one, I think, um, it was, um, divided into, like, half one week and half another. Oh, sorry. But, yeah. But look at that, all those freaking post-it notes. Um, so... This is Philip Dwyer, Napoleon, the Path to Power, 1769 to 1799. So, um, I'm just going to read the back for you. Um, Napoleon, Napoleon Bonaparte's rise to power was in neither inevitable nor smooth. He was, however, ruthlessly amb ambitious. This book examines the extraordinary evolution of Napoleon's character and the means by which he became head of the most powerful country in Europe. Philip Dwyer sheds new light on both the darker aspects of Napoleon's personality, his brooding obsessions and potential for violence, and the passionate and visionary nature that enabled him to inspire others and fashion the image of himself that endures to this day. Fresh, innovative, and broad in scope, this outstanding biography mints a new one of the great figures of modern history. Yeah, so in Canada, um, this one will cost like 22 bucks. Um, so, this is over 500 pages. Um, Yes, yeah, so this goes right up to, um, his time in Egypt, which of course is near the end of 1799. Yeah, um, if I were to put this on my laptop, um, it could be a little grainy. Um, I know how I sound on audio, I know I suck. Um, But yeah, so, uh, you got, um, governing Egypt, um, him invading the, pa invading the Papal States, um, concerning the Jacobin, um, you got Corsica is where he's actually from, so Corsican Revolution. Um, 
these books do talk, um, some of the books do talk about his time in Corsica, because that's where he grew up, but, like, he'd rather forget about Corsica and stay a French, Frenchman, but, yeah, um, so, yeah, to me, this is a long read, um, uh, First-hand accounts, lots of dates, um, yeah, um, can't really say too much about, more about that, um, so it does go, um, into, um, events that made him what he was as, um, a guy, so, as a leader. Um, next one, Terrible Exile, The Last Days of Napoleon at St. Helena, Brian Irwin. So it looks like that. So, again, some, yeah, I, uh, I kind of have that habit to over post it. So, um, this kind of just goes what his life was like after the Battle of Waterloo. Because at the Battle of Waterloo, his life kind of went downhill. That's showing. He still had um, influence while he was in Helena, but like, um, not the way he would have wanted it. Um, Sir H Hudson's, Hudson Lau's problems, yeah, they were at odds. Um, or you wouldn't be talking about him. And so it was just his problems um, in his final years. Um, the First Total War by David A. Bell. So, as you can see, not a happy read. Um, so, um, this book was to, sh is to show that, um, Napoleon, um, was the first person to have, um, war like we would see, um, in the world wars of the 20th century. Um, and, like, to have, like, guerrilla warfare and all this stuff. Um... So it was just this is kind of um military um a mil military kind of um book um so if you're more into a military rather than um like biography is what these book books were um kind of of um yeah so this is more of the military side of um, Napoleon. Um, so next one is Napole Napoleonic Foot Soldiers and Civilians, A Brief History with Documents, um, Rafe Barb and Claudia Liebeskind. Um, so, you got an introduction, and then you got, um, these primary sources. Once again, it's a small book, um. About 140, about 165 pages. That's including the um, index. Um, you got journals, um, diaries, memoirs um, of different kind of um, people. Um, you got images of his warfare, um, French intelligence report on British India. So, um, so you, you get, you get, um, some first-hand accounts of, um, what went on with, um, him at the time. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, 
um, those are the books that I have of um, Napoleon. Um, I forget if I actually if I had given one or two away, but yeah. Um, once again, um, I'll go. So once again, the Foot Soldier one. Um, total first Total War, David A. Bell. Uh, Terrible Exile. Brian Irwin. So Napoleon, Path to Power, 1769-1799, and then the French Revolution, a very short introduction, William Doyle. So those are the books that, um, if you're interested in Napoleon, um, <laughs> there's a, a few possibilities to get you started, um, or to ease your way into, because um, two of them are long and depressing, so, but they are interesting, so, um, <laughs> can be a little drag, um, some are too descriptive, some, part, parts of them will be too descriptive, some will be like, why include, um, these facts, or why include this chapter, you will get to, um, depending on, um, how you read history books or what you look for in history books. So, um, good information is just depending on um, how you like books set up will be an issue for you. But yeah, um, so I just wanted to give um, an introduction to some books about Napoleon and show you. <laughs> Um, what can be found because he is a popular um, figure in history so I'm going to stop it there happy reading guys